First of all, let's talk about the Dallas Cowboys and the Atlanta Falcons. I know you've got to be a little bit excited about this football game since it's your first playoff game ever. How do you think the team is going to do? I tell you, we're going to be excited. Um, if nothing else, uh, I would say emotion is either going to cause us to play way over our heads or, or play maybe one of the worst games we ever played. This has had to have been a frustrating season for Ralph Ortega personally because last year an awful lot of playing time on the field and not so this season. Yeah, it's, uh, I guess the Lord's allowed some things to happen in my life this year. To, but um, as long as he's allowing them to happen, I can accept them. That. I'll ask him one more question. This is going to be two parts. How would you assess uh, right now, the night before the game, the Falcons' chances of beating the defending Super Bowl champions? How do you assess that? Well, like I said, we're a team that um, I don't know if it's playing above our heads, but we play very well at times, and other times we play very badly. It's uh, I hope it's it's one of our on weeks. It, I think it ha we've been on every time it's counted, so uh, that's something you can't overlook. A lot of people have assessed this as a total mismatch. How does that affect your thinking? It doesn't upset me at all. Sports is, uh, I guess, the biggest arena where upsets always occur. Uh, when Ali beat Listen, it was an upset, and I remember a few years ago where we definitely didn't have a prayer to beat the Dallas Cowboys, and the bookies took a beating that week. Maybe they will again this week. When we talked the other night, you thought the Falcons had a chance to win. They played a pretty good football game. Your thoughts now after the football game? Well, like I said, we were going to be emotional during the whole game, and I thought we played that way. I thought we played a great game, and uh, just a shame the game couldn't end at the, at the end of the first half. Obviously, this is a morale morale game for this team despite the, the fact that we didn't win but what about Ralph Ortega as an individual free agent now technically in a few months and before the season started contract problems indicated you might even want to play in Miami how do you feel now about the situation well the real key Knox is I really believe that the Lord is going to open up a door for me where he wants me to be and um, I don't think I'll ever be really content as long as I'm, I think I'm going to make the decisions. I think the only thing I can do is, is to keep an open mind and to seek out Jesus' His will in my life. And He's obviously doing this to shape me and making me more like Him. So, you know, that's why I've really had peace about it all year and it hasn't affected my attitude. It's, I know He's allowing this to happen. He's greater than all of us. And uh, the only defeat I could suffer is if I would look at it in worldly terms and then Satan would, would succeed in my life by making me a better person. As far as, as far as your future, though, let me put it this way. If you had a preference, if they said you, and you obviously do now because you can deal with other teams under the NFL free agent negotiating rule. Uh, would you, if it came down to the choice between Miami and Atlanta, choose Miami over Atlanta? Again, I have to tell you this, and this is the great thing about this, is Atlanta, let's say Miami made me an offer and I accepted it. Atlanta can match that offer and keep me. So this is going to be a real test as to am I going to end up, you know, where he wants, regardless of what, you know, what I want. Um, great. When I said I'd prefer to be in Miami, that's that's my hometown and uh, my family's there. It would uh, facilitate things as much as, uh, say, moving. You know, I have to move every year. But well, I'm going to tell you something. I love Atlanta. What do you think is the future of this football team now, Ralph? I don't know if Frank Highland remembers, but I, I made a prediction that we were going to be in the playoffs when I came back to, to training camp. Right after I talked to you, when we did that interview when I flew in through Atlanta, I had a talk with him, and I really think they're, they're doing the right things. They've, they've made some good, solid draft choices. Uh, Mike, Ken, and Warren Bryan, are the, they're calling them the bookends, and I think that's, you know, that's the right move. They're, they're building a team around guys that obviously are going to be around for a long time. Those are, those are players you can look forward to for playing 10 years. One other question. What about the offseason? Construction business again? Yeah, I'm going to see. Um, I'm going to try to get something started along those lines. Um, obviously, football isn't forever, although uh, really after a year like this year, you wish it was. It's, it's really been great. I can't even believe it's over.